Hi, my name is Jan Schwarzschneider. I'm an assistant professor at Lausanne School of Engineering at York University. My research involves developing privacy preserving systems and helping consumers navigate the privacy landscape. The COVID-19 pandemic has brought up many questions about online privacy that most of us have probably never considered before. The pandemic has forced us to suddenly transition to online systems like Zoom, Teams, and Skype. While these systems help us work from home, take online classes, go on virtual dates, and even see the doctor, they can employ information handling practices that breach existing societal norms and privacy expectations. As we use online systems, we need to consider that these tools introduce new privacy threats. Our information can be more easily captured and disseminated between third parties and other platform users. The systems are also vulnerable to attacks from adversaries that threaten to steal data or interfere with systems functionality. At the Privacy Rhythm Lab in the Lausanne School of Engineering at York University, we are working on tools and methodologies for building privacy respecting real-world socio-technical systems. Specifically, we are interested in the following research questions. To what extent do the functionality of the online platforms align with privacy expectations and ethical concerns of people using them? And how can we integrate these privacy expectations and considerations into system design? A recent study of the remote learning platforms in collaboration with Princeton's Center of Information Technology Policy and the iSchool at University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign in the US reveal substantial gaps between information handling practices of these systems and the established norms and regulations in the educational context. While operating in the educational context, these virtual classroom systems collect and share a lot more data than we might have expected. This data can potentially then become visible to platforms developers, third-party partners, and other system users, in addition to being exposed to other security and privacy risk from adversaries that threaten to steal data or interfere with systems functionality. Based on our privacy and security analysis of the top remote educational platforms, we recommend that universities use community privacy norms to set baseline for their privacy strategies and practices. Also, universities should establish clear principles for how software should respect the norms of the educational context. They should also establish a process to identify emerging concerns and privacy harms, and periodically solicit this feedback from instructors and students about the major platforms that universities have or intend to license. Finally, universities need to engage with software developers that commit to using this feedback to continue to improve their services. Thank you for tuning in. If you're interested in learning more about these issues, get in touch with the Privacy Rhythm Lab.